are hitting it up, running flat out, going great guns, heading for victory with a pace that thrills. And often as not, the Austin 7 sets the pace, swelling, roaring him to the god of speed. Listen to it. But where it all begins, there's a far different scene. For the building of a miniature racing car, such as the overhead valve Austin 7 Special, requires skillful planning and the application of intense research and wide experience. Only after long and careful calculation can performance be visualized and designing begin. Every detail must be correct. The problems involved of stress, and strain, momentum and inertia are no ordinary ones when a baby car of 120 horsepower is traveling at as many miles per hour. The finest resources of Longbridge, the birthplace of the baby car, are applied to the building of this miniature speedster. The crankshaft is turned from the solid bar, requiring no less than a month of careful work for this component alone. The engine cylinder head has its combustion chambers machined with equal care. The camshafts are in themselves wonderful examples of machining perfection. Indeed, every machine surface has to be finished with exceptional accuracy to give speed, speed, and even more speed. After machining comes verification of every vital dimension. The parts are measured, weighed, and balanced. When it comes to the pistons and combustion chambers, polishing by hand, most carefully, is the only finish permissible if international records are to be attacked. As assembling begins with fitting the crankshaft, we begin to realize the cleverness of the design, which provides for every predictable load within such compact dimensions. After the crankshaft, the cylinder head with valve gear, and then the supercharger. This engine begins to look like business. Will it give the revs? Will it give the power? The engine test will provide the answer. 8,000 RPM, 120 horsepower and more. One to every one and a half pounds of engine weight. How's that for 744 cc? Slightly less than the capacity of your own Austin 7. At last we begin to see a car take shape. The axles in themselves triumphs of engineering skill, bristling with studs and bolts, are assembled and installed. The car acquires its limbs, the wheels are fitted. 101 requirements are scrupulously fulfilled. Into the chassis, the engine and gearbox are carefully fitted. Special in every detail of design, but nevertheless the product of the same skill and experience that goes to the building of your own dependable car. The streamlined petrol tank forms part of the body structure and then the shapely tail is added. At last, with the bonnet in place, the Austin 7 Special becomes recognizable as that great little car, that miracle of steel on wheels, 
which has contributed so much to the interest of motor racing in all the leading events. Let's see it at speed and hear it on track and road. All the crack drivers, all the latest and fastest cars, compete in the many events that are run off each racing season at Brooklands, the world's first motor racing track. Brooklands, mecca of the racing motorist. There's a concrete circuit, two and three quarter miles in length, on which the Austin 7 is often prominent. When the cars roar past on the banking and the going is fast and furious, Brooklands provides its greatest thrill. a road race on the Isle of Man with cars shooting like rockets from side streets onto a tortuous route. Round the houses they call it, but it often threatens to become through the houses as each driver tries to cut the corner and catch the man ahead. Here, footless steering and powerful braking are essential. The seven in this event found the road surface treacherous, but after hitting the bank, whoa, what a bump, was soon away and reeling off the laps. Here indeed is the pace that thrills. How many times has the Austin 7 thrilled the huge crowds at Shelston? A difficult question to answer. But whenever cars are streaking up that famous hill, snaking around its treacherous bends and opening up with a deafening roar on the finishing straight, the 7 will be in evidence, putting up a fine performance. Shelsley Walsh is an international climb. The hill is a thousand yards long, with an average gradient steeper than one in nine, and a maximum of one in six. What a climb. track in England for road racing is Donington Park, where many of the most important events in the racing calendar are now held. The complete circuit is over two and a half miles in length and winds through picturesque woods. For exciting racing, this track is now famous. The Austin 7 has done its share, more than its share, in thrilling the crowds at Donington. Very different indeed is the tense atmosphere when international records are in the making. Apart from mechanics and officials, the electric timing apparatus is the only observer, but it misses nothing, not even a split second, as the seven crosses the line at amazing speed. The career of a miniature racing car is indeed a fast and furious one. The Austin 7 special sets the pace that thrills, a pace that brings a chief.